Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at Autodesk Vault Gateway. This is new functionality for Vault 2023 that sits on top of your Vault server, um, allowing you to connect external parties into your Vault server inside your firewall without having to give access through VPN or giving external access to your server through HTTPS. This is something that I wish we had two years ago um, at the start of lockdowns uh, because that would have really helped with clients with their connection issues and, and home working. But we have it now and it is available to anyone with Vault Professional. So with this, you can have your users connect into your Vault. You can give external parties access into your Vault as well so they can contribute data. The gateway itself is uh, very easy to set up. Within your Vault server, you'll go in and you'll configure the service, uh, connecting it to your Autodesk ID. And it, once you have connected it, you'll be presented with a web address that you use to log into your Vault. The idea of this is that your external users can connect in, so it shouldn't matter if they are running a slightly older version than you, they can contribute data. The current server that is supported is Vault 2023, and the latest or the, the, the earliest client that is supported is Vault 2022.1. So if you've got that or above, it will be able to connect in up to three versions back. A couple of things you need to be aware of. Um, your Autodesk account that you're running this through needs to be a team administrator or secondary admin. Um, we've checked that within our system. Um, you also need to be aware that there are certain um, ports that need to be open. Um, the other thing that I would point out is that if you are connecting to a vault um, within your company and you are um, within the building or in your design department, and you're connecting directly to that server, use the local address, don't go through gateway because you will get slightly slower service there. Although with our testing that we've done, we've not really seen much performance difference using gateway to using an Azure or an on-prem service. But obviously the larger your models, the more of that effect that you might see. But Vault does a good uh, job of mitigating that by checking your local files and multi-streaming as it downloads. So let's log on to Vault and take a look at the setup of this. So here I've got my Vault 2023. I'm going to go to Tools and I'm going to go to Manage Vault Gateway. Now within my Vault Gateway settings, you will see that currently I'm not connected, but we have a whole load of options. The main one that you're going to be looking at is this Configure option. When you hit Configure, what this will do is it will load up a uh, screen where you can pick whether you want to be using the US East Coast, North Virginia servers, or the Irish servers. And these are um, using hosted servers for you. You can put in the description as to what this server is, and then you can pick a service account that you are going to connect in with. Once you hit OK, it is going to go away and start creating the service. Now, this is a process that takes a little bit of time. You can see it's currently not connected. I can hit refresh and it will check that connection each time I hit that refresh. Do expect that it's going to take about 20 minutes, however. Um, in our testing, sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's longer, but on average it's around about 20 minutes. Once the service has connected, you'll see connected at the top here. Um, you can pause or delete the service should you need to. If you're using uh, proxy addresses, you can set up those details as well. Once we're done, you can also copy the URL link and that will grab this hosted name and put it into your, um, your, your clipboard. Going into Vault itself, if you go to login, you can now use that address and log in with your Autodesk ID. As you know, we have three connection methods in with Vault Professional, Autodesk ID, Vault ID, and your domain ID, your Windows credentials. That will not work through Vault Gateway. However, that has been addressed by Autodesk, and I'm sure many of you are aware that in previous um, releases of Vault, what we have seen is that the um, 
tech user accounts that we utilize for Vault now have the ability to include three different ways of connecting. So for each account, if I go into one of these accounts, I can see that I can um, click on accounts here and I can specify a Vault account, an Autodesk ID or a Windows authentication. And I can use one or all three to connect in. So if you are going to be adding external users in, you can add those users into here using their Autodesk ID, give them the server address, and they'll be able to connect into the system. Obviously, one thing that is a good idea is that you make sure that your Vault security is up to standard. And for more information about how to audit your Vault security or best practice, please get in touch with our consultants and we can take a look at your setup with you.